Okay. So, um, the gravity that you are more familiar with is, uh, okay, this one, it's on Earth, okay, that is negative 9.81 meters per second square. And this has a specific meaning, okay, it's not just a value. The greater the value is, the greater the number is, that means that the object is going to be able to travel faster each time, okay? So, what does it mean? This means that for every one second that passes, okay? Imagine. Initially, at the time equals zero, and you start to accelerate at 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? This is velocity. Initially, it's zero. After one second uh, passes, okay, now, this is at the time zero, you have a velocity zero. At the time equals to one, my velocity now is 9.81 meters per second squared. The acceleration uh, sorry, meters per second, sorry. And the acceleration is the same. When my time is 2, I mean, this is in the second, in the second, second, okay? My velocity is going to be double, okay? It's going to be 19.62 meters per second. But the velocity now is going to, the acceleration is going to be the same. For every second that is uh, that is um, that is passing, the velocity is going to be increasing, increasing at a rate of 9.81. That's what it means. Okay, so acceleration means an increase in the velocity, a change in velocity. As you can see, the only value that is that is changing, I mean, of course, after that time, is the velocity from zero to 9.81 from 9.81 to 19.62. And if I continue, if that time continue passing, like now we're in, in the third second, okay? So my my velocity is gonna be 9.81 times three. That is um, 29.43 meters per second. So as you can see, velocity continues, it continues increasing, okay? It continues increasing. But the acceleration remains the same. It is constant. So in this kind of motion, the longer it takes, more velocity the object is going to, uh, to have with time. Okay? So in these exercises, the, the ones that I assign as a homework, as you can see, I gave you three different gravities. Okay? The one on, on Earth, this is the one that you are more familiar with. Okay. The one of Mars. That is negative 3.7 meters per second squared. And the idea, the general idea of acceleration is the same. Every second that passes, the velocity is going to be increasing at a rate of the, uh, of the acceleration. Sorry. And then we have the moon with the velocity acceleration your gravity of 1.64 meters per second squared so the greater the acceleration is okay the greater the acceleration is the greater velocity can be reached in the same period of time if you want to compare this is earth in three seconds we reach 29.43 meters per second okay but if i compare this uh, with Mars and with the Moon, you're going to notice that with Mars, it's going to give you a different time, a different, okay, at 0, at 1, at 2, and at 3, it's going to give you a, it's going to give you a different, different velocities from those compared to those uh, that are on Earth, for example.
So at zero, velocity will be zero. Yeah. At one, velocity is going to be for Mars, where the acceleration is negative 3.7. So the uh, velocity is going to be 3.7 meters per second. Where the time is two, is going to be 7.4 meters per second. And so on, okay? And when the time is 3, it's going to be, I don't know, 11.1. So, with this, you are able to compare. With this, I know, I don't know what happened, sorry. With this, you are able to compare that gravity is going to affect the velocities of the objects. Why? Because it's a certain type, it's a, it's a type of acceleration, okay? So every object that is uh, on, on a specific surface is going to be affected by gravity. So the greater gravity is, greater velocity can be reached, okay? Here we have a greater a greater acceleration of gravity, so we reach a greater velocity. For Mars, it was 3.7, but the velocity that we were able to to reach was only 11. It's less than the one that we got from Earth. So this, what you see here, you should be able to notice in the homework. Okay, so. Can anyone tell me what answer uh, you got? On Can Earth you... exercise. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, on Earth, what can, what velocity do you find on on Earth? Negative sixty-eight point forty forty-eight meters per second. Compared to to the one that we obtain in Mars, on Mars, how greater is this compared to the one on Mars? How much greater is this? It's 26 meters per second more. Ah, uh, 26 meters per second more, uh huh. And how much time did it take? 6.98 seconds. Okay. Uh, with that time, uh, what can we conclude about it? It takes longer or less time? It takes less, less time. time. And that happens, why? Because here is more gravity, so the object takes um, less time exactly. to fall. Exactly, because we have a greater acceleration to gravity, therefore it takes less time um, to cover all that distance of 239 meters. So that's, what it, that's exactly what I wanted to, uh, to show you, okay? The greater the acceleration is, or the greater the gravity is, it's going to take less time, okay? Why? Because the object is going to become uh, faster, okay? So that's why you say in Bolt is the fastest athlete, okay? Why? Because he has more acceleration. And there are other characteristics in his body, for example, and but that we can discuss about, but that's deeper. But in general terms, Usain Bolt is the fastest man, the fastest athlete. Why? Because he has a greater acceleration. Because he developed that, um, he, he shaped his body in a way that he could develop that acceleration. Then we can discuss about aerodynamics. It's going to be interesting. Also about Erling Haaland, his... his Body aerodynamics is very interesting as well, but in the end, the point that really matters is the acceleration. Uh, what happens with the moon? What is the final velocity that you got in the moon? Negative 28 meters per second. Exactly, negative 28 meters per second compared to the one in, on Mars. Is it less or more? Less. And that happens why? 
Because in the moon there is less gravity than the moon. Exactly, because in the moon we have less gravity. Okay, so in the same, uh, by trying to cover uh, the same amount of distance, it's going to take, it's going to reach less velocity because the acceleration is less. And how much time did it take? 17.07. Zero, zero, zero seven rounds, okay. Uh -huh. 17 seconds. Okay, compared to Mars, how much was in Mars, by the way? 11 seconds. 11 seconds. In the moon, it takes longer than that. Why? Because they had a, a, a lower um, acceleration due gravity. That is why, you know, that is why. I'm going to show you something. Now, a final comparison. A final comparison is going to be like this. Okay, uh, on Mars, um, okay, okay, on Mars, uh, the final velocity was uh, negative. Negative how much, sorry? Negative 42.05 meters per second. And the time was 11.36 or 37? 37. Oh, 37, okay. I barely remember. Okay, on Earth, the final velocity was negative 68.48 meters per second, and the time was 6.98 seconds. We're talking about the same cliff. Imagine that they're exactly the same. Of course, that is a, a comparison. Okay, a little bit dumb, but that, that's what, exactly what I wanted, okay? To show you it, what would happen if we have this same situation, but in three different places. In three different places where gravity are uh, this different, you know? So then we have the, the one on the moon. Oh, the moon. That happens because the moon is tinier than Earth, for example, okay? So the, the gravity that it has is less. Um, the more massive an object is, the greater the gravity it has. That's why the black holes, they are super massive, but super massive um, point. I don't know if I have to define it like points or, yeah, physical space on the, on, on the universe. And they are so massive, so, so massive that the gravity attracts everything that is around it. Okay, so the greater the mass is, the greater the gravity is. And the final velocity on the moon was negative 28 meters per second. If it's negative, why did we, did we say it was negative? Because it came so Because? Because of its movement on the, on the coordinate plane, it would be down, so it would That's be negative. Uh -huh. so in, because in the coordinate plane, or the motion that the object has, the camera, how was the camera moving? The, the camera was moving uh, downward, and that kind of motion assigns the, the, this symbol to the velocities, okay? And this is one of my favorite examples, because in this kind of exercises, you are able to notice 
uh, you're able to see how important gravity is, okay, and how much we're going to be affected by it. But um, now today, uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to I'm going to share the same video from yesterday. But now you're going to watch the third example. You, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna send you the link, and you're gonna watch the third example. Okay. In that third example, and that I threw, that's one of my, my favorite examples because it mentions a cat, basically. Okay. So again, I'm going to share the link here. If I send you a message, or if you see your name there in the chat, that means that you have to send me a screenshot of you watching the video, okay? Just to check the timing that you are uh, having in the video. 